yesterday. Terrible, terrible result uh, for them. Uh, Juventus in hell, uh, says the front page of Creator Sport. Uh, who will pay uh, the front of Tutto Sport, of course, talking about the money that it would take to see Allegri leave the club. Uh, quite interesting stuff from Allegri after the game, uh, saying we are disappointed and angry because we're out of the Champions League. Now we have to focus on the Italian League and also remain focused against PSG next Wednesday because we have at least to book a place in the Europa League. I don't consider this a failure. In football, there are also defeats. We are sorry and angry. Gab, how can he consider this anything but a failure? But I, I, I've given up on, on figuring out uh, Allegri a long time ago. You know, um, he, even when he was successful, and when, when he was reaching two Champions League finals, you know, he'd come out and, and say a lot of stuff, which I think no doubt seemed a lot of clever, very, very clever to him, like saying, oh, tactics don't matter. Um, you know, coaching is just about uh, giving the ball to your best player and waiting for, for him to do something. Uh, he'd just say all these things, which, you know, and then you do it with his like kind of like like goofy, like sort of sarcastic uh, way of talking. And people say, oh, look, he's a genius. He speaks the truth. Well, I think the reality is now um, he's seeing a broader picture and just about everything that he has touched this season has turned into a big giant turd, including uh, including the Champions League. So whether he sees it personally as a failure or not, whether he's trying to make some metaphorical point about how you learn more in defeat than in victory and it's part of a journey and, you know, I, I, I never lose, I either win or I learn or whatever, whatever nonsense he wants to come up with. Uh, I can tell you uh, the Juve fans see this as a failure. Uh, yeah. The ownership sees it as a failure. And I think the players definitely see it as a failure. The fa how long is this going to last with the fans, Gab? Well, I like there's, there, there's a broader issue here. Um, you know, Juve fans aren't the kind of fans that necessarily turn on the club uh, in that way. Or, um, you know, they, they might become apathetic. They might stay out until he's gone. You know, I, I think they would voice their dissatisfaction in that way rather than, you know, what you might see in other cities in Serie A and elsewhere where they go and they lay siege outside of Andrea Agnelli's house. Um, I think there are broader issues at this club, issues that run deeper um, than, than Allegri. Andrea Agnelli's come out and said, no, we're Juve, we don't sack managers in mid-season. We, you know, we evaluate where we are at the end of the year. Well, where you are at the end of the year is gonna be in a very, very bad place if, mm. if you don't make top four, um, because they've lost a ton of money in recent seasons. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the ownership has been very generous, but at some point, you know, they are running a business. This is a club that's listed on the stock exchange, lest we forget. So I, I think at some point, you know, he may have to go against what he said earlier and and, and bite the bullet, take the hit on uh, on, on Allegri's severance, which is going to be a ton of money, and uh, and go in a different direction if this continues. Uh, will it be you and Jules tomorrow, Gam, on Thursday's uh, podcast for a change? Yes, it will be. It's called the Gab and Jules Show. Hence, Gab and Jules will well, be, yes, will be on it. Um, I you, know, you lot have a lot Jules, of holidays. So... Uh, we, we, we've listen. We've had. I, we, we, you, you, are you gonna make me go talk to my union rep? Do I have to go speak to my union do we, rep? Do we have a union Ooh. rep? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Stevie. <laughs> Stevie. <laughs> what? Stevie. <laughs> Stevie is priority. Hey, it's it shepherd's Stevie, pie every day hey, at the cafeteria. Who am I? <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.